Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to write unit test cases for Spring Boot REST API. So in this video, I am going to show you the best way to learn. So let's search for Spring IO unit testing. Open the first link. This web page is provided by Spring official website. Here you can see the heading like testing the web layer. From this page, you can get the complete information about unit test cases for Spring Boot. Let's quickly look into the entire page content. Don't go here and there. This is the best place to learn about unit and this page will guide you how to write test cases for Spring Boot REST API. So whatever code we are seeing here. So in this video, I am going to demo everything one by one. First, let's create a Spring Boot Starter project. Project name let's say Testing Web. Here let's search Web Dependency. Click on Finish. Project created successfully. Let's open POM XML file. See here for test dependency it excluded unit vintage dependency. Here is the web dependency which we selected. Let's create a new class and class name let's say home controller. Annotate this class as a controller. Let's create one simple method and method name let's say a greeting. Here let's return simple text like hello world. Annotate this method as request mapping. Here value I am using just slash that means root. Here before string add annotation like response body. This code is kind of traditional code. Now let's run this project. Server started successfully and running on 8080 port. Let's open this in browser. See it is working. Now let's replace this traditional code to latest code. So remove response body annotation. Replace request mapping to get mapping. And replace the controller to rest controller. So we modified the code so need to start the server again so better let's add DevTools dependency. So let's open POM XML file. Let's add the DevTools dependency so no need to start again and again if we made any changes. Now let's start the server. Server started. See it is working same as earlier. Now let's open the test package. Open this application tests class, which can by default. See here only one test is there in this context loads method body does not have any code. Let's open the testing web application class also. See here I am not going to modify anything. Let's see how to run this testing web application tests class. Right click on this and run as unit test. Open the Junit tab. See test execution starts. See test executed successfully and the test case is passed, obviously, because there is no code in context loads method. If you click on this arrow then we can list of the test cases. Here we have only one test case so here is the test case name. Now let's create a new class and class name let's say smoke test. Before add any changes let's see what is smoke testing. Smoke testing is a type of software testing that determines whether the deployed build is stable or not. Smoke tests are a minimal set of tests run on each build. First, let's annotate this class as Spring Boot Testing. Now let's copy context loads test from testing web application tests class. Like I said earlier smoke tests to check build is stable or not. Let's create the reference of the home controller. Annotate this as auto wired. Let's add simple case which will check this controller is not null. So using assert that let's check the not null condition. See it is very simple. Now let's run this test case as passing or not.
C test case passed. Let's say if we remove the auto wired annotation then this test case will fail. So if some cases failed in smoke testing then that means build is not stable. I hope this is clear for you. Now let's see how to test the web layer. So to test the web layer spring test provides a class and that class name is test rest template. So using test rest template we can invoke the controller methods. Let's see how to do that. Let's create a new class and class name let's say HTTP request test. Annotate this class as spring boot test. Now let's pass web environment as key and set value like web environment dot random port. Now let's create an integer variable for port. Annotate this as local server port. Let's create a variable for test rest template. Annotate this as an auto wired. Now let's create the test case to test the greeting method. If you remember greeting method returns the text hello world. Let's see how to create a test case. Let's create the method and method name should be descriptive so by using the name itself we can understand like what is the purpose this test case. So let's give the method name like greeting should return default message. Now annotate this method as a test. Now using assert that method we can compare the expected and actual result. Here let's see how to call greeting method using rest template. There is a method and method name is get for object. This method expects two parameter like URL and response type. Let's create the URL. And here response type is a string. Now using contains method we can compare the actual result. Here we already knew the actual result. So the actual result is nothing but the hello world. That's it. A test case is done. I hope whatever code we created you can be understood. Now let's run this test case. See test case passed successfully. So here we have only one method but in the real time scenario so many controllers and so many methods will be there. And methods types also like get, post, put and delete. Coming video, I will cover all types of requests. I hope this is clear for you. Let's create a new class. Class name let's say testing web application test. Annotate this class as spring boot test. Let's add one more annotation and annotation is auto configure mock MVC. Let's add a variable for mock MVC. Annotate this as auto wired. Let's create a method and method name like I said it should be descriptive. So method name it should return default message. Annotate this method as a test. Now here we are not going to use any kind of cert. In this class, we are going to test the scenario using mock MVC. There is a method in mock MVC and method is perform and this perform method expect request builder object. Let's see how to create request builder object. So here using get method we can get the request builder object. For this get method passes the request URI as a method parameter to print all the information about request and response then call the undo method. And for this undo method pass print as a method parameter. Now call the unexpect method and here method parameter is status method and status is an okay method. Now call again an expect method and now inside this method call the content method and after that call string method and now inside this method call contains string method. Here pass the hello world. Now it will throw the exception. So let's throws. So I hope this test case is clear for you. So here using mock MVC we are calling get method we are expecting the status must be okay and the result must be hello world. Now let's run this test case. See test case passed successfully. Here you can see we added two annotations for this class. There is one more way so instead of two there is one simple annotation is there so if we use that then we don't need to add these two annotations. So instead of modifying the same class, let's create a new class and class name let's say web layer test. So here is annotation and annotation is web MVC test. Now let's copy the rest of the code. So here we don't need two annotations only one is enough.
Now let's run this test case. Test case passed successfully, so we saw two approaches to test web layer like one using test rest template and second using mock MVC. I hope till now everything is clear for you. Now let's see how to test controller class if there is a dependency of service class. First, let's create one more controller class. Class name let's say, greeting controller. Let's copy the required code from the home controller. Now instead of slash let's add greeting also. Now let's create the service class. Class name let's say greeting service. Annotate this class as service. Let's copy this greeting method from the controller and paste it to service. Change the name so instead of greeting change it greet. Now declare the variable for greeting service. Annotate this with auto wired. Now instead of using hello world string directly let's call the greeting service greet method. I hope this code is clear for you. Let's append this greeting in the URL and let's see it is working or not. See it is working, and this hello world text is coming from greeting service class. See other URL also working fine. Now let's see how to create test case for this kind of scenario. Let's create a new class, and class name let's say webmock test. Annotate this class as webmbc test. Annotation parameter let's pass the greeting controller dot class. Let's declare the variable for mock MVC. Annotate this as auto wired. Let's declare the variable for greeting service. Annotate this as mock bean. Now let's create the test case and test case method name let's say greeting should return message from service. Annotate this method as a test. Here we will validate test case using Makito. Let's call the win method in this method as static and Makito class. Here let's call greet method of greeting service. Now let's add a call for then return method here pass the expected result. Now let's validate the test case using mock MVC. Let's call mock MVC perform method. This method accepts the request builder. So let's create the request builder object using get method. Here pass the URL like slash greeting. Now call undo method and pass a print method to print the request and response details. Now call the unexpect method and pass status method and call as ok method. Now call an expect method again here pass the content method now call string method here pass contains string method here pass the string hello world. That's the way to write test case if there is a service class dependency. So always we need to call one or a given method just to make it separate change the string value from hello world to hello mock. Let's run this test case. Test case passed successfully. I hope whatever code we write for this scenario, it is clear for you. See we covered all the code which Spring Web Page added. Now let's close all the classes. Let's refresh this. See here also updated message is showing. I hope everything is clear for you. Don't worry incoming video we will add test cases for our book REST API project. Here let's change the light to the dark mode. Now it is easy to understand because we already implemented this code. This is the best place to learn about Junit and Makito. Here GitHub code repository link also there. Let's click on go to repo link. Only thing is here so many commits are there. So it is little difficult to find the code. Even I committed the changes. I will show you from where you can find the code. See here is the repository. See here is the code. I hope this video is helpful for you. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.